Hey, Retcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Sir Skelebit. Thanks for your support, Skelebit. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Mutant Year Zero. Well, this is it. It's taken us 18 episodes to get here, but we're finally entering the final stretch of the main campaign. We've explored the world map, we've done all the optional content, so at this point, all that's left is to find our way through the Forbidden City, discover the secrets of Eden, and put an end to Plutonia once and for all. Today we're headed into the Grave of the Ancients. In ancient times, a nearby city was closed off due to the epidemic spread of a terrible plague. Or so the rumors say. Some people claim that this is that city, and that ancient dangers and guardians still protect its desolate streets from scavengers and other unwanted visitors. And it looks like we've officially got Eden in sight. Just a little farther now, stalkers. Okay, so based on what we just read, I think it's pretty safe to say we're going up against robots here. Let's adjust our loadout to take that into account. You'll also notice that I took the liberty of swapping some of our mods around. All of our stealth weapons now have EMP devices attached. Alright, let's have a look around. That's the biggest wall I've ever seen. It's surrounding the entire city. They were trying to keep people out? Trying to keep people in. The Red Plague started in this city. It spread fast. Got out of control. So the powers that be built a wall around the city to quarantine it, to stop the people inside from infecting the world. Doomed them all. That was a long time ago, but people are still scared to go in. That's why they call it the Forbidden City. So. The plague might still be in there. Can you tell me again why we're going this way? Hammond said the Nova sect were moving around the city. We cut through the city. We get to Eden first. Hmm. I have my doubts about this plan, but, um, I guess we don't have much other choice. So much for that impenetrable dome the Elder was talking about. This looks like a pretty conventional wall to me. And that would be our way in. Um, let's finish checking around out here first. Well, I guess that's it. Into the Forbidden City. Hmm. 
Lots of cluttered, multi-level terrain. Plenty of places for enemies to hide. Oh, we've uh, got a Mimer Z200. One of the uh, floating security drones from the intro video. Somehow I think those would make a better deterrent than a concrete wall. Huh. We've got a pretty good line of sight through these windows. Let's see if we can uh, take this thing off from here. Here goes nothing. Let's check line of sights first. Make sure everyone's got an open shot. All right, looks like we're good. Serves you right. Nice. That does make things easier. Jeez. Okay, so those things explode violently when killed. We'll have to keep that in mind. Hey, follow me. Looks like we've got an item ahead. Let's go check that out. Oh, no, it's a note. After our hard work has finally started to bear fruit, Central Command has cut our project. Effective immediately, those ignorant cretins are afraid of what wonders we have accomplished. Under the cover of night, I gathered the surviving young and we made our escape into the zone. We are heading to an abandoned facility, which remains unmanned since the war. I shall not let my magnum opus be destroyed by those fools. Dr. Ingmar Edison. Several of my viewers have pointed out that that's almost certainly the Elder. If that's the case, then uh, it sounds like he's the one who accidentally created the Nova Sect. That would certainly explain a few things. I got this. Cover me. Hey, this machine's like the one we saw in Hammond's cabin, right? Yeah, we've seen a few of those at this point, ducks. Hey, guys, come here. Man, so many nooks and crannies. Split up. Looks like that Z200 took out a pretty big chunk of the building. We'll have to keep our distance if we run into any more. Regroup. Oh boy, this is a shortcut to Eden, all right. Everybody dies in here. Well, yeah. I'm pretty sure these people have been dead for quite some time, though. We're not exactly seeing fresh corpses here.
Oh, okay. We just caught a glimpse of another Z200 over near that uh, crashed flying machine. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, and that. <laughs> That's a uh, Z600, fully armed from the looks of it. We'll just see if we can find a better angle to approach those things from. All right, let's see if we can take that thing out. We might be able to find an elevated perch here somewhere. That might work. Let's see if we can get up here. Hmm. Looks like an old arcade. Okay, let's get ourselves set up and hopefully we can actually reach that thing from here. Okay. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Looks like we'll have to move ducks up a little closer. Break up. Ah! Oh, shoot. Okay, I guess Selma's too far away, too. That's fine. We've got this. Okay, let's get some distance from this thing before it explodes. That's got a pretty wide range. Hey, follow me. Ow! Your journey is just beginning. Start a new life off world. Mimer is offering places in our luxurious orbital facility. For science, we offer unlimited research possibilities. For the brave, we can provide off-world military training outside of Earth-bound morality regulations. For the fertile, we can provide the most advanced pre- and postnatal care. Using the tools provided in this kit, submit the following to be considered for a perfect life beyond the stars. DNA swab, sperm, egg sample, blood sample, 
accreditations and certificates, social media login details. We are looking forward to shaping a brighter future together. Mimer Industries. Okay, I think this is all starting to come together. I'm definitely starting to see some parallels between Mimer Industries and the Enclave from Fallout. This thing got hit by lightning? It's burnt to a crisp. Yeah, sounds like an EMP device. Looks like we've got a couple of police spots ahead. We've got a weapon crate in there too, but let's approach this carefully. This is an old quarantine outpost. Back when they thought they could control the spread of the Red Plague. Before they built the wall. I'm starting to think their world was worse than ours. Eden's starting to look real good right now, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Okay, I think we can get behind the uh, Z600 here. Oh yeah, this should work just fine. Stay back. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is, but oh, there we go. I think that was a smoke grenade, but I can't say for sure. Well, let's take out that Z600. This might trigger a full-blown shootout. Selma, fall back. Wow, that uh, almost caught Borman. Love those destruction physics, though. I wish we uh, got to see them more often. Let's hit that uh, Z200 next. Yeah! 
Fall back. You know, um, all these EMP devices do kind of trivialize these fights. Very nice. Looks like the uh, police spots are up next. Hey, follow me. Okay, so there's two of these guys, but they're actually weaker than the robots we've already fought. Let's wait for them to get closer together. Then we'll hit them both with an EMP grenade. Shoot, there's a uh, third one back there. Okay, um, shoot. All right, I'm pretty sure we're outside of that thing's detection range, but we could try to hedge our bets here and um, take a pot shot at it. On the other hand, that might just end up making things worse. We'll just, um, we'll just hope that thing doesn't notice us. Looks like we're good. Lovely. Oh, forgot to equip Jolt. Good thing we uh, didn't get into any serious fights. Hey guys, come here.
fun. Nice and easy. Keep coming. Okay, let's grab that chest. Yeah, yeah, prize time. Mimer PC-98 can destroy covers, knocks back enemies. A huge, powerful enclave weapon rumored to be from Eden itself, sometimes seen being carried by tank ghouls. Chronicler Amadeus. Well, I, um... I think it's pretty safe to say that's our endgame shotgun. That'll be going right to Borman, once we've got it properly upgraded. Looks like we've got everything out here. Let's check the next area. Okay, that's probably the exit. Yeah, I think we're done here. All right, that is the transition to the next area. Um, we're already past the 25 minute mark, so we definitely don't have time to cover another map. Let's head back to the Ark and uh, we can get this PC-98 set up. Then we'll pick up here next time. Getting some mixed messages here, Elder. Everybody's saying there's spaceships flying around outside. Well, I don't know about that. They look like drones. Small, compact. Hmm. Wasn't expecting Delta to have anything new to say. That's a pleasant surprise. Anyway, let's get this PC-98 set up. Now let's pull the mods off Borman's current gun. Actually, I don't think we need that driver. Yeah, the PC-98 has uh, auto knockback. I think we're set. Keep your head screwed on. <laughs> A 
Lovely. Truly, this is the future. I guess we could scrap these older weapons, but I don't think we really need the parts anymore. Let's see if Viridia has anything new to say. How may I help? Nope, nothing new. Disappointing. Until next time. Alright folks, I think that brings us to a pretty good breaking point for the episode. I know, it was a uh, slightly shorter than usual episode, but we are coming up on the end game here. One, maybe two more episodes, and we'll be officially done with the main campaign. Though, uh, we will probably revisit Mutant Year Zero once the new DLC comes out in June. Anyway, we'll hit the pause button for now, but we'll pick up here next time as we delve deeper into the Forbidden City and potentially confront Plutonia herself. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Mutant Year Zero, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official Facebook page, the official Twitter feed, or the store pages on Steam or GOG. Links are in the description.